Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 16th through the 22nd of May, 2021. I do hope everybody is doing well. I am going to take just a second to remind you that this is a general reading and may not apply to everyone out there. If you find it's not resonating with you, simply check your other signs and placements, see if those readings might resonate better. Um, also, if you want a personal reading, there are directions in the box beneath this video. I'll be happy to get that set up for you. In a general reading, keep in mind that the roles can reverse or flip-flop and timelines are variable. So, Sagittarius, um, I'm going to pull your energy. I'm going to pull the energy of the person you're connecting with and then the energy of the connection, even if you are not in communication. And then we'll go ahead and pull the outcome at the end of the week. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, pulling for Sagittarius, energy of Sagittarius, please. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Pulling for Sagittarius. So the first card out, Sagittarius, we have the Six of Swords in reverse. We have the Paranormal. Interesting. So the Paranormal, um, guys, is one of two cards that is particular to this deck. Okay? Um, it, it's not in all tarot cards. It's particular to this deck. And then we also have the Page of Wands that came out with the Empress. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is that with the paranormal, what that basically means is that um, you have a great curiosity about something. You might be looking into something, um, and it um, it actually. Let me. Um, I'm going to pull the book just because I know it's a little bit of a different meaning and I want to make sure that you guys get the, the fullness of it. Um, what it talks about um, is that it's a like deep intense need to figure something out. So it's like you there's a mystery right that you have and and that you you haven't been able to solve it. Um, it's like something from the unknown, like you have a calling basically from the unknown um, and that's where it gets the paranormal and that it's basically summoning your attention. Um, you might have a bit of skept uh, skepticism um, and that you may feel like you have to either prove something right or wrong, um, you know, with regard to somebody else. So, you know, this, this basically this card is like... Um, it's a, it's almost a knowing, a deep knowing, but you feel, let me, it's hard for me to say how, you feel deeply, like it's a deep knowing, and almost like you need to kind of prove something to somebody, prove the truth to somebody else, um, but it's also a warning not to feel that you have to do that, because it could really step on someone else's toes, um, you know, and be careful with that because you may be very skeptical. You may be closing yourself off from some some um, other viewpoints or insights that you may need as well. So be very careful with that. Um, other than that, we have also the Six of Swords. So that tells me that you might be feeling a little bit stuck here. Um, so be careful um, that you're not stuck in this whole... Um, situation where you're feeling like you have something to prove to. Um, you also have the Page of Wands and the Empress. Um, the Empress is either Taurus or Libra, um, but it doesn't have to be necessarily either one of those signs, but I do see you communicating with this Page of Wands. There's a communication either from this person or to this person 
Um, or you may just be communicating about creative endeavors or, you know, something that um, you're feeling very creative about, okay? Um, also maybe feeling a little stuck in the areas of creativity as well. And if so, talking with someone may help you to kind of release some of that. All right, so let's see, Sagittarius, who you're connecting with here. We'll clarify all of this too um, and see if we can get some deeper answers with regard to what's going on there. This just seems like a vast subject though. It feels vast to me, Sagittarius. And um, I, I am seeing a picture that makes me feel like it's a vast, vast subject that you have already made your mind up about and you need to pull back because your skepticism is limiting you with regard to something here. And that can keep you stuck, so be careful there. All right, so the person you're connecting with, we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. We have the Six of Cups in the reverse and the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing here with a water sign um, that would be a, let's see, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Cancer is very strong. Um, so this person that you are connecting with here is somebody who um, I do feel like they are working to release something from their past. Um, either that or they may be kind of looking at past memories. And if so, it you know might be that they're remembering things in a less than positive way. Um, this person also may be a little bit concerned with stability, um, feeling a, a lack of stability. However, with the Four of Cups in the reverse, they have gone from feeling, you know, basically apathetic to being a little bit more positive. So that's good. I almost feel like this person um, has, has in the past, they, over something regarding love, this person has been maybe mulling over memories, mulling over things from the past, and been a little bit in a downward spiral with that. And now they're starting to release some of that energy and they're starting to feel a little bit more positive. So let's see the energy of this connection. Something turned, let me find it. Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay, so that's shared energy. So either that is um, avoiding so the two of you may not be in connection with each other or there has been something sneaky that was done and it has come to light. Um, if it's something deceptive, it's out in the open now because that's shared energy. Um, it could just be, um, it, you know, that the two of you have been avoiding one another. And if so, both parties are aware of that. <laughs> You're both aware that you're avoiding each other. Let's see um, what is directly affecting this connection. The strength card. Yeah, so both of you are, are having to kind of dig down and, and have that inner strength to deal with this connection. Or maybe to deal with the avoidance. And what is the outcome at the end of the week? That's too many. What is the outcome at the end of the week, please? Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords. So the outcome at the end of the week, um, there's going to be some kind of either delusional thinking, perhaps um, confused thinking that's going to lead to some sort of disappointment some kind of disappointment or, or heartache, okay? So, I don't know if there's something that's gonna be confusing here. We'll clarify it. All right, Sagittarius, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the High Priestess in the reverse. This is the underlying energy here. Um, this could be two different uh, things. There could be, um, 
you know, that there was a breakup in this connection and that is kind of heavy on both persons' minds. I can see that for sure. Um, that might be where we're seeing either this um, deceptive behavior or this avoidance and why would you each would need the strength to have to deal with the situation. But in addition to that, with the High Priestess in reverse, um, I also see that um, there's a lack of using your intuition. And so that's almost a caution to you from source that you're not really using your intuition. Um, and that would probably go back to this paranormal as well as, you know, whatever this is going on with this person. So let's, um, let's see what we've got here. Why is the Six of Swords here in reverse for Sagittarius? Okay, so we have the Sun in reverse and the Ten of Swords. So you you're kind of a little bit stuck. You've been you've been feeling depressed, um, maybe a mild depression, feeling somewhat betrayed. So you felt betrayed in this connection. So maybe there was something that was done that you felt was dishonest. I don't know. Um, you'll have to apply it to your situation. I can see two timelines here. Um, but I can see, regardless, Sagittarius, you did feel betrayed. Um, and you're a little bit stuck right now in this um, feeling of depression. Feeling, um, you know, as if your your son has basically been taken away. Your, your light, your light has been taken away. And you're feeling a bit stuck in this, um, this feeling down, feeling these um, heavy feelings. Why is the paranormal here? You have the Two of Wands and you have the Three of Cups. Okay, so you're being guided here, actually, Sagittarius, to you're at a crossroads. So you're stuck. You're feeling really down. You're feeling these um, feelings possibly of depression, possibly of betrayal or both. Um, and so, you know... The paranormal may very well be indicating um, a, a psychic, a card reader. Um, it could be, it's dealing with the paranormal, but it's, there's a guidance here for you to take that direction. Now, so um, guys, I'm not ever going to like try to use the cards to say, oh, you must get a reading from me. Um, but there is a direction here to you're not using your intuition there is a direction here for you to take and uh, take the direction you're at a crossroads take the direction because you're you're not feeling joy it doesn't matter if it's me or if it's someone else or if it's just someone you you know um but there is a direction here uh, from spirit for you to take a direction. You're closing something off that can be helpful to you. You're being skeptical about something and it, it whatever it is that you're closing off is, is what's preventing you from bringing that joy back into your life. So you're, there's a guidance here for you to take that direction. You'll know how that applies. You know in your heart how that applies. But it is not something that is of the norm um, that you're used to seeing. It's something along the paranormal lines. Okay? Very interesting reading. Um, okay, so can I have three for the bottom energy? Okay. All right, so we have the Five of Wands in the reverse. We have the Queen of Cups. Now we have the Queen of Cups over here. So in your in your cards, it's in the reverse. And then we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, so the communication is from this Empress. This Empress, Sagittarius, is going to come to you through, through this paranormal avenue. Okay? 
This person is going to relay to you a message. It's going to release this conflict, this internal conflict that you have carried for a very long time. And this, it's going to relieve the, the conflict that you've had regarding this Queen of Cups, the breakup with this Queen of Cups, and the anguish that you have felt, this, this mental distress that you have felt. It's going to take you out of this conflict. So there is a message that is waiting for you from this Empress. Um, you're, you will receive a message. So whatever your skepticism is, um, your, your guidance is to take a new direction, to release that skepticism. It's going to help you. It's going to release the conflict that you have here. And it will open you up to creativity and it will open you up to, you know, feeling, feelings of self-worth, feelings of bountifulness. Um, it's going to release every, all these dark emotions and feelings that's holding you back because there was a breakup with this person. I mean, it's clear. It's very clear. For, for most of you, it was a water sign. For some, it's just indicating that it was in love. It was a, a, a love relationship that went badly and you have not been able to release yourself from it. Let's look at their energy. Um, why is the Four of Cups in reverse? Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups and the Page of Swords. Okay. So, the person that you're connected with here... Um, they're trying to figure out how to be happy. They're trying to feel, figure out how to be emotionally fulfilled. They, um, they also went through a difficult time. Um, I do think that they were somewhat apathetic. They kind of went through a period where they just felt like blah. They didn't really feel, have emotions. They didn't feel um, emotions for a minute. Um, and when they did, they were revolving a lot of negativity. But now they're actively seeking ways to be emotionally fulfilled. They're trying to move forward. They want to have an emotionally fulfilling uh, connection as well. They're trying to figure out how to do that. And they are now beginning to feel like that's a possibility for them. Why is the Six of Cups here in reverse? All right, we have the Lovers in reverse. And we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so they know that they have to let go of this past connection. Yep. So they, they've been ambivalent to do so. They've been ambivalent. They, they've, they've, in the past, they have had difficulty in completely letting this go. They've been holding on to it. And so they realize that they're going to have emotional fulfillment. They're going to have to let their past go. They're going to have to release that the past. They're going to have to release this um, breakup that the two of you had. Um, believe it or not, Sagittarius, it was very difficult for them as well. Um, why is the Queen of Cups here? This is someone who is also pretty intuitive. Um, the Queen of Cups here. All right, so we have the Five of Rods and we have the Queen of Wands. Yeah, because there is still love here. And so the Queen of Wands has fire energy, Sagittarius. So they still have love for you. Um, and they do not want to, they don't want to have conflict with you. They do have emotions still for you. And they don't want to fight with you. They don't want to have conflict with you. Um, but they're realizing they're going to have to let the past go if they, you know, plan to ever move forward and have emotional fulfillment. But they don't want conflict with you at all. Let's see. Um, why is the Seven of Swords here? All right. So we have the Ace of Swords and the moon. So you want the truth. Now, if there was anything deceptive that was done here, 
there was lying, cheating, stealing, anything that wasn't on the up and up, you want the truth. And you feel like they're holding the truth back. They're hiding something. Um... I don't think they want the truth. Yeah, I don't think they do. I think that they, I think they are comfortable, you know, keeping things in the dark. They're just going to let things go. You want everything out in the open. You want a conversation. Um, I don't think they do. I think they are going to continue to avoid because they want to keep things in the dark. Um, why is the strength card here? Yeah, I, I don't think that you're going to get that conversation that you're looking for, Sagittarius. Um, I can see that the two of you have different, um, different, you're on different pages. All right, so we have the Emperor and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so... You want to take charge of this situation. You want to, you know, you feel like the, the strong thing to do would be to take charge of it and get the truth. Have this conversation. Get the truth out there. Um, for them, they are content with just um, focusing on their, their work, their home, their money, um, their kids if they have kids. They really don't feel a need to do that. They think that that is what encompasses strength. Um, so the two of you, Sagittarius, are really on different pages. Um, you're both trying to kind of move past the, the breakup here is what this looks like. Because this does not look like a situation. And if I remember um, correctly... I do, I do a lot of reading, so, but if I remember correctly, this has been going on for a minute. Um, but it looks to me as if you want to take charge of the situation, they kind of are content with keeping things back, which is why they're having a hard time releasing the past. But you, you have very different ways of dealing with things very different ways so what is strong for you is not going to be strong for them and you're going to have to let them handle things their way and you're going to have to accept that um, because you're not going to be able to force them to talk with you you know sometimes you have to just take charge of you and that's where your strength is going to have to come in all right so let's um Huh. Hold on. Okay, never mind. All right, let me get three for this bottom energy. Okay, so the outcome at the end of the week, um, I don't see either of you really investing in the situation. Um, I do think that, you know, I do think there might be a little bit of confusion for you, Sagittarius, about the ending. Um, and that's, that's going to lead to some disappointment. So be careful with that. There is there is something here for you that you are being given by spirit. It is of the paranormal. Um, it is not, it's, it's spirit driven and it can help take you out of this sadness. So you're going to have a choice here. Um, if you will, there's a message. It is a message and it will be delivered by, you know, some form of supernatural means and it's going to bring you a lot of abundance a lot of um, self-worth happiness it, it's gonna it's gonna release this conflict for you um over this ending okay 
um, it will clear up this confusion, but it's a choice. You're going to have to choose it. If you don't choose it, the outcome is going to be confusion regarding this ending and, you know, impatience and, you know, just more of the same. Um, because you're, you're going to want to take charge of it and have this conversation and, you know, get to the bottom of it and get to the truth. And I'm going to tell you right now, Sagittarius, this person's not going to do that. Now, for the person you're connecting with, um, they're also, they're trying to move forward. And I do think that their method of moving forward is entirely different than yours. They're going to be focusing on themselves and self-care. They're focusing upon releasing the past. They're focusing upon finding out what makes them feel emotionally fulfilled so they can, you know, move forward and have a, a relationship at some point. Um, and I think that at the end of the week, they're still going to be struggling with that. They're going to be struggling with the disappointments and the sadness still. Um, they haven't moved out from that yet. And I think that they also are not going to be investing in the connection. So they're going to be behind you as far as that struggle. But the most important thing that for you in this reading, Sagittarius, is that you are going to have an opportunity here. It, it will not be through a normal, everyday method. So that's a, a, an unusual message, but I would heed it. Bottom of the deck, you have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, which indicates to me that um, if you do not use your intuition in this regard, you're not going to get what it is that you want. Nine of Cups in reverse is, you know, not having your wishes fulfilled. So it, the key to it for you, Sagittarius, is using your intuition. All right. So let's do this. Um, let's pull a healing oracle for you. Spirit, can I have a healing oracle? Sagittarius, okay. Oh, and look at this. This kind of goes hand in hand because, you know, it will it will unleash your creativity here with the Empress um, if you do receive that message. So, you know, I, I really think that that's the key for you. All right, so the card you got is um, Unleash Your Creativity. It's a beautiful card. All right. It says, um, Your creative talents and abilities are your most powerful assets. That's beautiful. And, you know, most Sagittarians are very creative. So, you know, that's just a reaffirmation there. Also, keep in mind that three and one equals four um, that's fours are all about stability. So your stability is going to come through creativity. All right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Sagittarius. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like and share the video, if you will, and drop me a comment. I do read all of your comments. And until I see you next week, namaste.